So the United Auto Workers strike is expanding to include 38 plants and some right here at home. Casey Cronus is live with what it means for the state. Casey. Don and Scott, workers in Bolingbrook and here in Naperville walked off the job today after being called on by the United Auto Workers president this morning. And in about an hour and a half, U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth will be here to join the picket line in show of support. Both of those plants manufacture auto parts in Bolingbrook for General Motors and in Naperville for Stellantis, which makes Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler and Ram vehicles. More than a week into the strike against GM and Stellantis, the UAW is holding firm. They are asking for better pay, an end to the tiered wage system, and the restoration of traditional pensions for new hires. What? It's just like our button says here. I don't want to strike, but I will. It's not fair to have two different groups or three different groups making different wages, and we're all doing the same job. We're trying to make sure that our second tier can afford the vehicles that we have, that we make, and this great company that we have. And in a statement released this morning, Stellantis said in part that it questions whether the union's leadership ever had an interest in reaching an agreement in a timely manner. Meanwhile, GM called the strike escalation unnecessary. Ford made it out of the strike after meeting some of the union's demands. Reporting live in Naperville, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.